Do you really believe that you are capable of achieving all of the things that you want to achieve in your sport and life? Do you really believe that you've got what it takes? So when you have absolute certainty in yourself, you just know. But if you don't quite have that certainty, then doubts can creep in sometimes. Nerves can creep in. Pressure can take over the mind. And these anxious feelings, which are just fears at the end of the day, can destroy your performance, can it? Perhaps you can remember a time where, where you didn't feel confident, when the occasion got the better of you, when you didn't quite believe in yourself, when you started to have this war game inside of your head where you knew what you needed to do, but there was just this part of you which didn't quite believe that you could do it, or you thought some other outside factor was going to stop you from being able to do it. And all of these factors, whether it's nerves, doubt, pressure, lack of confidence, have you ever wondered where they actually come from? Because where they actually come from is some kind of limiting, disempowering belief somewhere in your subconscious mind. And these could be beliefs about various different things. And these beliefs can take root as a weed from your earlier days. Could come from something which happened years ago, which has triggered this, this belief, this lack of belief or this doubt about yourself. Because beliefs are like weeds, disempowering beliefs anyway. If you don't tend to the garden of your mind, weeds can grow. And often these weeds have, have, have come from a memory, from the past, an event, when something didn't quite go right. And then you took meaning from that event turned it into a story about yourself or about the event or about someone else and then the more you thought about that event the more you thought about that occasion the more you 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 ingrained it into your subconscious mind so the more you think a thought the stronger you create the feeling and the more you think the thought the more you create the feeling the more you do this you slowly start to wire this belief, you're wiring this pattern, this thought process into your subconscious mind and then you're creating an emotional attachment to it deep within the limbic system, creating a, a feeling associated to that event or yourself. If it's not one event, it could be the culmination of multiple events, multiple different things happen. And because A, B, C, D, E and F happened, your mind has then made a conclusion of it. Subconsciously it will say, well, what does this mean? These different things have happened, so that must mean that. Or well, this one really powerfully, highly charged emotional event happened. And subconsciously your mind will say, well, what does this mean? And depending on what conclusion someone comes to, depends on what meaning they take on. And that meaning then becomes this belief. This belief is just a story and then you will repeat this story so when you're performing when you're training or before uh, competition or after competition if you are ever having unwanted thoughts then when you can understand that, that they're coming from a belief that you have about yourself you're already expanding and expanding and waking yourself up to something which is going on at a deeper level, a deeper neurological level. And it, it's important that you start to break these um, beliefs down. It's important that you go inside your mind, find the root and then rip it out. So you can then plant a new flower inside the garden of your mind. So after this video, and perhaps you can already think of some things now, go back Get in your journal, 
get it on a piece of paper and start writing down some of the things that you say to yourself when you are not feeling at your best, when you're not quite performing at your optimal level, or when you've just felt angry or frustrated or not up for it, for whatever reason, start writing down the, the, the phrases that you say to yourself. I have specific neuroscience techniques that will help you break those patterns, but there are also things that you can do without me and my techniques and programs to help break them down. You're going to get there far quicker with my Science of Excellence programs, but you can still do these things yourself. And this is the great thing about the mind. It loves what is familiar and it will hold on to it until you start to change it. So you can start changing these neurological patterns, the beliefs, the stories, the emotional energy attached to an event, and you can start to rewire it. And you can start to do this by taking down your thoughts, your feelings, and describing them, and then identifying how you do want to feel, the things that you do want to say to yourself. And you can do this when you start getting into the habit of, of looking inside. As I said, the Science of Excellence programs is all about winning the inner game. Because the inner game means that you can take charge of your neurology. And when you can take charge of your neurology, you've got power, you've got self-power. Because it's this neurology of the mind, the neurons of the mind expanding and extending down into the, your, your body, which is controlling your physical performance. So spend some time after this, identifying some of the things that you say to yourself. Notice what words you're using. Notice how you're saying these things. Notice the tone. The speed, is it sarcastic? Is it, you know, are you quite harsh on yourself when you say it? Perhaps you're even hearing the sounds of somebody else, a coach, even a parent, yeah, or a teammate saying something and you're hearing that in your head. Most often it will be yourself, but sometimes it can be other people. Start identifying when your performance isn't quite going so well or when you're not feeling like you are at your best. Notice what you're saying to yourself. Write these phrases down and then start to challenge them. Challenge these phrases because these phrases are linked to a disempowering belief. Another way to look at a belief is, is a table. A tabletop with legs. And each belief has numerous legs, sometimes way more than four legs. And each of the legs represents a meaning attached to it story and a tabletop without any legs will break it will fall so start going back and identifying the, these things that you're saying which are linked to a belief about yourself and then start to challenge them challenge all of these different beliefs what if i didn't believe this thing that i'm saying to myself and what if i believe something else what other things could i say to myself instead of that do I have any evidence which is counter to this thing that I'm saying to myself? If you say things like, I'm not good enough, I'm not good at this particular skill or technique, I can't do that. Why do I play like this? Why did I do that? Why am I making this mistake again? God, these things are going over inside your mind if you get into this state. And again, the states are tied to this belief that you've had about yourself, which often is just never true. But you thought, thought that many times that it became real. Because then you're probably thinking, well, if I'm thinking this thing, it must be real. When often it isn't. And sometimes you can't even remember where this thought came from, where this belief came from. And sometimes with some, with some introspection, by going into the, into the recesses of your mind, you can go back and find these events and, and, and challenge them. So I encourage you to take some time, figure out how you're talking to yourself, yeah? Challenge it and start to notice what, what beliefs, what belief do you think might be attached to this thing where you're saying, I am not this or I hate that or I can't do this or whatever it is that you say to yourself, start to challenge it and try and find what belief is attached to those uh, phrases uh, that you say to yourself. 
and then try and challenge the break the legs, snap the legs off that belief. What if I don't believe that and I believe something else? Is this really true? You might say things like, I never do this. I'm always like that. I can't do this. Is it that you always perform like this? Do you always make that mistake? Or is it just sometimes? You know, in a match, it, say a, a netball player, you know, you, you gave the ball away and then you say, I'm always making the mistakes, I'm always giving the ball away. But I bet if you went back and really thought about it or even watched a video and you look how many times in that match you actually gave the ball away. If you made 100 passes in that game, you might have only given it away three or four times. And you can start challenging your belief. And as soon as you start challenging the belief, start challenging what you're saying to yourself, start challenging the thoughts that you're having and the images that you're creating inside your, heart, inside your mind, you can start reshaping the neurological structures. You can start changing the pattern. This is part of the process of breaking down, ripping out those weeds, these disempowering beliefs that you have about yourself, and start to change them. Always frame everything that you want, everything about yourself in terms of what you want to believe. I am feeling confident. I am feeling ultra today. I am feeling energized. I am a great goal scorer. I am one of the fittest players in the team. I am unstoppable. I am feeling unstoppable. Challenge what you're saying to yourself and frame it in terms of what you want, how you are feeling and keep saying it. The more you say something, the stronger you're gonna start feeling. And sometimes just through repetition of saying positive things in a particular way, you can start changing and altering your own state of mind. And this is one of the keys to challenging these disempowering beliefs. Because that disempowering belief often came by just repeating something. You either kept repeating something you kept seeing in the past, or you kept repeating something that you heard, or you kept saying to yourself, or a combination of both. And you brought the pictures, this movie inside your mind with the words, and then it, it came together to form this neurological pattern, this part of you. Yeah. Often people say things like, there's a part of me that just doesn't something. There's a part of me that wants this, but there's a part of me that wants that. That part is a neurological pattern inside your mind. And it's either, it's either helping you grow or it's diminishing you. It's, it can only ever go one way. So start breaking down your patterns. Start identifying new patterns. So start wiring it in your head. Spend some time. The more you do this every day, before you go to bed, when you wake up, when you have some free time, perhaps maybe you're traveling to your competition or in the changing rooms, just start taking control over your state. Start taking control over your internal story and start shaping it and creating new, more powerful beliefs instead. So I hope you found some of these insights useful for you. But if you'd like to take it to the next level, if you're the type of person who's really searching for excellence, who's really trying to take your game to the highest level possible, then the best thing to do is to, is to get in touch and we can arrange a free consultation that's uniquely tailored to you, your needs, your targets, your sport. 